Wow, he this, is. This he, kid. Yeah, and he's had this reputation for almost 15 years, 10 years. I mean, when he was young, he was he was a great blitz player just as a preteen. That's right. And this game, of course, is going to be quite interesting. We're going to keep our eyes on Gary Kasparov versus Nakamura. Both of them love to pull faces that are perfect for Internet memes. <laughs> well, Gary certainly would love to win this game to just spoil Nakamura's party just a little bit, of course, as they go into a scotch again. And by the way, uh, Gary, on the first day of his scotch, was was achieving positions that he was really in mastering uh now everybody is playing this variation against his scotch yeah they're all cop you're totally right they're all copying hikaru because the other line is like a little bit trickier to play when you haven't analyzed it's right. a bit more easy to play in blitz exactly exactly and this is just the adjustments that the elite grandmasters make and naka is the expert at that what openings are good to play in blitz what openings are better to play in classical because he has so much experience and he's such a practical player absolutely he's and willing to change it up we should point out that wesley so is not doing anything in his game against fabiano caruana he basically has to win out but he is simply simplified that game there and wesley's got to hope that gary wins as uh, they play this position, I think Wesley must be looking for a window in this game. So we see what Gary can do to make any kind of headway against yeah. Naka. But look at Naka again. This is his posture when he is comfortable. He does not stay focused in focus mode. That is up, alert, over the board when he feels like he's just okay. And he's just leaning back now, arms folded. The, he's the, very content. The neurons are firing well. The brain's just working perfectly. And he knows... This is the mode he gets in when he wins game after game after game against anybody. And Nakamura just simply one of the best blitz players the in the world. Ever seen. No question about it. Now, a matchup we would love to see, no question. Magnus? Magnus versus Naka. Oh, I think that would be baby. fun. Magnus versus Naka would certainly be a great match. I think people would pay to see that one as... I would pay to see that. Oh, man. It's just fantastic. You were told that you could not watch that? No, I cried. <laughs> How I much cried. do you want me to that pay? That would be a huge punishment, actually. That should be our next bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And let's take a look at who's in the audience. We've got our women's champion, Nazi Pekidzi. And, and number two. somehow she's made friends with Hatev Abrahamian. Of course, yeah, they were they, friends. Of course, they were, of course friends. I'm joking. They were friends before, but um, not, a, not an easy situation with both of them playing for the title and uh, Nazi leapfrogging against her. Um, at the last moment, but uh, obviously um, in chess, you know, you gotta. That's that's the game. You gotta play, make friends with your rivals, and, and play against them at some point. Absolutely, uh, interesting move. Queen D two by uh, uh, Gary Kasparov here. He had both pawns hanging in the center. I thought um, that he was going to play Queen C five actually. Uh, posting up on the c5 square, but queen d2 inviting a capture of his e4 pawn, and I'm sure um, uh, Hikaru Nakamura is looking at that e4 pawn, very, very tempting. There's only one play in the position, d5, attacking this knight. The rook would come over to d8, pinning the knight to the queen, and does Gary have compensation? Uh, I, and of course, knight c3 castles, and I'm not 100% sure that this full compensation there. Actually, actually, the inch is giving white the edge. Seriously? Yeah, okay. white the edge I in that position. I, I couldn't be more wrong. Well, we, we can we can often uh, bail out with with the c7 pawn, right? Ah. Uh, there's a, there's a, often a, a snap a pawn to snap. Right. Off. White has lots of initiative here, and that's what's justifying it. And Nakamura, deep into a think. Uh, at least a minute he looks like he spent. He went from being ahead on the clock to now being way down on the clock. That last move by Gary, Queen D2, actually the engine's very first choice. Gary defending his pawn, preparing to D5 thrust. Looks as though it has befuddled Nakamura, and he needs to figure something out very quickly. He also has Bishop F3 that runs into Bishop to G3, and he has taken Queen takes, and Gary... Leans back in shock seeing that move. Queen takes on e4. I mean, yeah, that just exactly simply allows the win of a piece.
for a couple of pawns, and he has decided to go for this position. Nakamura not wanting to have a position where he stood worse strategically has sacrificed his piece. Mm. But, but he has, big, big, currently big has three pawns for it. But we, but big, big decision, and I like White's position. Yeah. I, I, the, the two big... The two Bs, especially, uh, should give White a clear edge. Well, he can also C7 get a pawn also, back hey, on C7. And so that's he... a huge pawn because that stops you from rolling with your center pawn. Exactly. Box. Queen takes D4, Knight takes D4, Bishop takes C7. That'd be an automatic for me. I'm a pawn grabber. It's happening. And there's Gary grabbing the pawn Can as anyone well. say insufficient compensation? <laughs> me. <laughs> I'll yes. say it. A big decision by Nakamura. He's going to have to call on his entire repertoire of defensive skills to save this one. As Gary now has dropped his bishop back, and you saw him screw that piece into the yes. three square. Did, you, did, you, did like, you like that twist? Yes, that was a nice that, little move that. there. Like, you are in trouble, sir. I'm a piece up. The two bishops are now off the board after knight takes, but he's got an extra knight. Well, it's an extra bishop on the board. And those no, two pawns and, and are the, totally the, insufficient uh, for the bishop on yeah, G3. This is especially, dominating. Especially since we're ganging up in the D5 pawn. We should very, point out, if Naka quickly. goes down this game, Wesley So is dominating currently in his position against Fabiano Caruana. So yeah. that would close the gap quickly. Naka now in trouble, our leader in trouble in this position. Can he save this game? He's got three pawns, it looks like. Three, two, no, two pawns, excuse two me. Pawns, two pawns for the night, piece. And knight After B, knight b5, are we going to get one back? He's going to have one pawn, yeah. actually. Knight b5, and it will be over. Yeah, over. Just, this is just kaput. I mean, come well, on. Bishop f2 is also being given as a strong move, as the strongest move in the position. Surprisingly, knight b5 allow, also wins the pawn, but allows king to c6 with some tricks, apparently. I see, I see. But he did not play either move. He played move. neither of them. Rook he d3. played rook to d3, and now king c6, the knight on e2. He knows that pawn on D4 looks delish. He wants lunch right now as everybody's ganging up. We can Black defends, and here's the extra piece. The value of the extra piece, and everybody's defending the D4 <laughs> pawn. It's the only thing holding Black's position together as Black is defending with everything. And Gary now resetting. Rook check, looking to put the rook on C4. Right. That's right, he's going to put the rook on c4 instead. I was I was surprised he didn't put his rook on a4 originally, because that would have also kept the a pawn at bay. Right, and now what can Nakamura do to save this position as his d4 pawn is about to drop? And if it does, he'll simply lose the game. This looks completely lost now. That's right, I mean, I, I, I actually wouldn't be surprised if he resigns at some moment. And he's played, although what? Nakamura does not like to give up, and he's played he the move b6. Right. But that was uh, the what's bullet, funny though. The what's rule. funny is this: the never, bullet rule. This is not never, exactly bullet. Ne never resign. But guys, check this out. Yes. If knight takes on d4, yes. and the king moves, yes. How do you unpin yourself? Knight takes d4, king anywhere. Yeah, king a6. How do you unpin yourself as white? You'd have to somehow maybe get your king to c3. Yeah. But even that doesn't unpin yourself. How do you unpin? This is what Gary is studying right now. How you win the pawn, but you can't un you cannot unpin yourself. And it's cause this is the only thing that's causing trickery. He can't take the pawn yet. That capture creates too difficult a technical issue to take on D4. And it is and he decided to not capture just yet and just play slowly. Leave the pawn there. It's a weakness for now, so don't bother it. And he's just building his position as now his rook goes to c7. He's decided the pawn is a, a blockade to black. It's a weakness. Don't touch it. And now forcing, look at that, forcing the black rook over to f8. Gary getting more activity. But we also, can play for b4 and rook a3 as well. Of course. And b4 has played. B4 has played, B4 yeah. has played very sharp play by Kasparov. And now he's just overwhelming the position. This is all him now. Beautiful yes. play. Yeah, beautiful play. Just, beautiful play. Understanding could, not to take the pawn at that moment was critical, and now Naka realizes that he's busted. He's now got to fight for his life as he plays this move, and here the knight comes back to the E2 the, square, but now it is a pawn. Yeah. Now he's won the pawn cold, and there it is. Rook takes, and he's he's got the second pawn in his pocket, and Nakamura scrambling now after Rook takes Rook at 5 Rook at 5 he's down a piece. Exactly. He's down a piece for one pawn. No, 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 this, is, no yeah, this is hopeless. This is yeah. uh, and I, down on the clock. Yeah, this has resigned soon. This I, is to I be think. Resigned. 
Um, I, a very and, nice move. I like that. And move. Wesley is winning completely, completely against Fabiano. Yes. So this result will affect the standings dramatically. A mate threat on the board. Give us another pawn. He's just gripping pawns left and right. Nakamura and now stunned BC. right now. It could have been a coronation, but it looks as though he's going to simply lose the game, offering a trade of rooks. And guys, this sets up an incredible Amazing last, finish. last round for us yes. in this Ultimate Bliss Challenge. Wow. What Gary controlling the board with that last move, and now just knows he's the cat and Nakamura is the mouse right now. Can he finish him off? Still playing is Nakamura. You know his defensive skills. Here we go. Check. And can he put together the sequence as Nakamura has got two of his pawns and the time on lock? He's still at, he's, he's, he's equalized on time now. Look at Nakamura defend. Amazing defense right now. The game, the game should be over already, yeah. but Naka is still defending. Wesley, Wesley won this win game, game, setting up for an incredible finish. Well, that's only if Gary wins. Gary is not finding the way to win this position. A piece up. He has not figured it out. Now he's brought his rook backwards to guard everything. And how does he figure out the win? Bishop attacking rook, chasing that away. Nakamura not giving him any easy road to win this position. And now he's trading rooks. There goes a trade of rooks happening that's on the board. So that he can play f4 and then advance with his king. It up still the board. worked. The, king, the black king looks to go to b4. He's He's played rook to c4. Doesn't that allow rook d3? Rook d3, rook f4. And he and has he played, played rook f4. And now his pass f pawn is the story of the position. Right. But there's a pass b pawn which for will black. Be, which will be curtailed after bishop e5. Posting up. What? I thought he was going to play king up and bishop e5. This is not the technique I would have thought. Gary would use. Oh, but it's winning now. Now it is winning. That F-pawn right. galloping down the board really quickly. And this is going to be it. Rook check. Chasing the king away and winning a rook. There it goes. Kasparov. Woo. 